This is a person who is like one step removed from saying Google Gaga. Like you have to literally be a child to listen to this and go, she's kind of right actually. I did get money on my birthday. Oh my God. First and foremost, more white people cosplaying as. Y'all want to see the apps? What? More co more white people cosplaying as homeless? The whitest fucking shit in the world. Yesterday, I pretended to be homeless for three hours, and I realized that if you're homeless, you're there by choice. Like you are there. By That's awesome. I love that. She's so right. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you chose to be homeless for three hours. That's what you chose to do, which is an insane choice, to be fair. Absolutely unimaginable, unhinged, and insane choice overall. But, but other than that, I mean, you went to a walk in the park choice, and was like, I'm LARPing as a homeless experience. person. Just the way that I chose to go experience that by choice. It's just the only difference is the stories that you're telling yourself. So if you want to experience homelessness, you want to experience what it would be like to lose everything, you can go have that experience. Or you're Yeah, yeah, no, totally. Dude, the stupider people get, uh, the, the funnier people get in every, in every aspect of society. Like, the crunchy granola people are also dumber as well. Like, we are collectively getting dumber and dumber. So... Everyone is getting dumber in their own unique way. You know what I mean? Some people think ice giants are real. Uh, other people think legitimate giants were found in Afghanistan. Uh, and she is like taking the, I manifested my, uh, you know, I manifested my future for myself to the, you know, to the dumbest new uh, level that you could get to as a crunchy granola lady. Um, it's awesome. People still disappearing where the ice giants were reported. <laughs> Please stop. No, they're not. Please stop. Not the same, but I found a guy who moved into a shed in his parents' backyard where he games and he watches you. I am going to shove your ass down your throat and make you eat your own. What the fuck? How? Where? What? Oh, my God. Average is on viewer's house. Oh, Jesus. I don't think that people are getting dumber. I think dumber people just got louder. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. I think part of it is also like, I, I do have this weird belief, maybe I'm wrong, but I do have this weird belief that the more accessible information is immediately on our phones, like the more you can Google shit, the less we are reliant on our brains to like learn information by reading it in a fucking book and like truly trying to understand why certain things happen like i feel like we're exercising less critical uh thinking skills and uh the less we exercise critical thinking skills the more we are susceptible to believing whatever the hell we see in front of us um i hate to be a boomer about it but i do legitimately think because i always joke about like oh, i don't read don't read it's so dumb but like i've read a lot in my life to get to the point that i got to and i still read a fuck ton um and it just like kind of scares me a little bit when I think about where we are uh, and, and what it's doing to our brains. I feel like the more you're like, I don't need to fucking read. I don't need to learn anything. I can just like Google it. The, the more you see stuff like this, you know what I mean? I have a 36 year old friend that reads at like a sixth grade level. I mean, you can also not be great at reading or writing and be brilliant regardless. I mean, my brother is uh, a perfect example of this. He, uh, has never been a very good reader, but he's very smart. He's just brain, his brain works in a different way, but he's certainly over, uh, I mean, that's dyslexia. And he certainly over the course of his life has gotten a lot of uh, forceful uh, critical thinking skills like forced into him through the education system. I mean, this dude has a master's in engineering. You know what I mean? It's not like, like he's gotten his education out of the fucking way. So, I, I feel like there are different ways of, of uh, getting people to that point. 
I don't know. It just is a little terrifying to see, but uh, anyway, let's You're continue. welcome to create a bunch of bullshit stories in your life that force you quote unquote force you into that experience but even when you go by force it's still by choice because you wanted to have that experience you just created a bunch of excuses for why you gave yourself permission to have it it's just like any other experience that we have in life it's no worse or better than having a home it's no you know different than anything else but the experience does show you how much you take for granted How much you take? Uh, I got to run that last but part again. Even when you go by force, it's still by choice because you wanted to have that experience. You just created a bunch of excuses. This is literally like the inverse of, of just, you know, you manifest everything that you uh, experience type shit. This is its like logical conclusion. You, you only arrive at this when you are too crunchy and too granola. The, and you read, maybe read the, or listened to the audiobook of uh, The Secret. First heard your exact thoughts a long time ago in a comedy bit. Pete Holmes. White privilege has rotted this woman's brain all the way out. Yeah. This woman does not know how, how a mirror works. We know that for a fact. I, I, I'm willing to bet that she has like a... Uh, what's going on in mirror world? How can they see what's behind the paper type uh, moment? Like, for sure. You know what I mean? By now you are... Okay, let's, let, we'll, we'll continue on. Why you gave thing. yourself permission to have it. It's just like any other experience that we have in life. It's no worse or better than having a home. It's no, you know, different than anything else. But the experience does show you how much you take for granted. I just, I don't, I don't know. Is it, is it rage bait or is she actually this fucking stupid? All familiar with Mandy on earth. The woman who believes homelessness is a choice. If you haven't, I've linked it below in the captions. I am not going to make you all watch it again. Wait, send me the fucking mirror video, please. She has a mirror video. She has a, our mirrors magic video. Please tell me. She does have a mirrors or magic video, doesn't she? Oh my god. She's probably born into an affluent family who taught that anybody can make it up the social ladder no matter how bad your situation is. I probably. Intrusive thoughts are literally just your intuition. Some of you may have gone to her profile. Might have thought a lot of her videos were clickbait. You might have even popped on over to that Schlinken bio. Or her selling get rich quick schemes for upwards of $500 a pop. I, I love those because uh, the get rich quick schemes are just trying to get her rich quick. Like, it's always just like get rich quick schemes uh, where I get rich. Get me done rich. some digging and I found out that there's some much more than meets the eye here. Not only was it not clickbait, it was something that she sh Wait. If you really want to get fucked up and see how not real this whole illusion is, take a book, push it up against a mirror, and then put your fist on the other side of the book pressed up against the mirror. Then look from the side and see what you see in the reflection. I told you. I told you. I told you, these people are so fucking stupid, man. No, they're on a different playing field, dude. They're, they're astral projecting to a place where they're fucking dumbasses, okay? They're not on this planet. They're, they're completely just lost their minds. I don't get it. What do you see? It, it's, it's quite literally the notion that the fact that you precog that isn't a good thing you are in the same field as them for knowing them so well i wish you well i mean i am fascinated i am absolutely fascinated with how dumb human beings can get uh and how cruel human beings can be without recognizing their own personal cruelty so um 
for that reason, this is like, this is exclusive. This is like totally in my realm. You know what I mean? And given the extensive coverage that I have afforded to this, a lot of those people and their fan bases or people who see themselves uh, as a fellow traveler to these fucking weirdos, uh, they hate me. And they get together and they go, oh, man, this guy, fucking big smarty pants. Like, look at him telling me that Mirror World isn't fucking real. Fuck you. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, wow, it's light reflecting. Uh, I don't know about that. Big dog. Big guy. Oh, okay, Mr. Scientist. What's next? You gonna tell me the fucking vaccines are good? Shut the fuck up. You know? Intrusive thoughts are your intuition. When will the internet learn what intrusive thoughts mean? Telling someone with OCD that intrusive thoughts or intuition is like a great way to get someone to off themselves. Oh my God, this is 43,000 likes. Dude, everyone is brain broken. Even the people that are like criticizing this person. You know what I mean? It's just, it's crazy. OCD is very serious, is true. I just, like, she is fucking out of her mind. I, like, OCD or not, people should be able to, like, look at that and go, no, that's a crazy person. Like, a lot of you are in the chat. Some of you have OCD, okay? Some of you have OCD. You see her. Regardless of your OCD, you still go, that's fucking nuts. Like, this is a crazy person, right? Like, unless you're just as crazy as she is, OCD or not, you're going to look at her and, 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 like, at what point does your OCD render you incapable of, like, understanding that the information that's coming through your fucking screen towards you from this person is not good info? You know what I mean? I, you're smarter you're smarter than her if you're in here i assume you're smarter than her you know what i mean if society didn't give a pass to attract people there would be many less confident dumb people and that's where you go wrong you assumed we're smarter than her i mean a lot of people are i think and we're all a bunch of dumbasses in here as well but that doesn't mean that there's <laughs> that doesn't mean the bottom of that well isn't deep you know what i'm saying we only go further down. A lot of us are dumb people. I myself, I'm a dumb guy. I say it all the time. I'm not a very smart person. I'm not a particularly smart person, right? But like that well goes deep, you know? There's still plenty of other way dumber people. This dude is shitting on Turkish food. Wait, what? I traveled to the most obese country in Europe. At least he called Turkey a uh, oh, uh, country in Europe, so respect. Like, I ain't going to hate that. You know, he's right. Turkey is, Istanbul is definitely a European city, and Turkey is a European country, you know. Whatever. He said we're obese, but he also said we are in Europe. So, I don't know. I'm conflicted as a Turk. He's valid, I think. <laughs> um, Avrupa'da isak sorun yok, obeziz. Exactly. Os bayrakları os. He said, if we're in Europe, it's fine. No problem. Yes, we're obese. <laughs> uh, okay. Are you just shitting on Turkey from being there? Or are they have, do they have a legitimate obesity problem? I think Turkey has gotten dramatically fatter uh, over the course of the past couple of decades. Uh, I don't know if they have a massive obesity problem or not, but it wouldn't shock me if that was the case. I haven't looked at the statistics in a while. Um, by being in Europe, y'all will miss out the growth China brings to Asia. Think about it. New women's rights and women's wrongs just drop Sigma female. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Sigma female doesn't exist. It's just called girl autism and it manifests itself very differently. Um, we have so many fucking videos to watch. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, this lady is out of control. She's crazy. And, uh, such is the case with every... As is the case with every single uh, situation, as is the case with every single situation, uh, she has somehow uh, 
possibly found people even dumber than her because, like I said, the, the well is deep, okay? And uh, she is trying to farm people that are even stupider than her inside of her uh, multi-level marketing group. She is in some insane MLM group. The Phase 2 house. Oh, I love this shit. It's awesome. Shared Let's... with her online Phase 2 community. But I'll get to what Phase 2 is in just a couple minutes. First, it's important that I introduce you to one of the founders of Phase 2 and Quantum Networking. If you still insist that money is hard to make, go stand on a fucking corner with a sign that says I need help. You'll learn very quickly that you can receive money doing absolutely nothing. When I left my ex and ended up homeless in Arizona for a week, he ended up getting me a plane ticket to go visit him for the first time ever. And I went, but when I arrived, I was horrified. I won't give all the details, but if you can imagine the most depressing house possible, like so I was only supposed to stay with him for a week, but I ended up staying for three months and it was hell. It so that means you continuing that you have to insist they have to work to make money to do all the stuff to make money you're you're willingly lying to yourself as soon as i got there i knew that i was not going back to arizona without him keep in mind this was the first time i ever met him in person in my entire life you don't actually have to work for money you don't have to do anything to get money and here's why homeless people are wealthier than you stop being so what? fucking dumb and do something different have you ever given money dude that's awesome that's like, I feel like these people have a dial, like a schizophrenia dial, and they're just like brrr, cranking it up further. Homeless people have more money than you is a take. I like that. Uh, you know, famously, uh, homeless people have more money than you, uh, but the one thing that they don't have is a home, uh, is, a sh is shelter. So how, how does that work? Like, there are certain concepts that we take for granted in societal organization that if you take the time out of your day to like really think about, you could possibly come to the conclusion is bullshit, right? Things that cause harm in the way that society is organized, like the unjustifiable hierarchies in the workforce, the fact that we like to celebrate democracy or, or a theoretical democracy that we supposedly exist under, but that no such democratic organization even exists in government. And it certainly does not exist in the workplace that adults spend 80% of their uh, lives on. That's the kind of stuff where you're like, wait, what well, this sucks. Like, why, why is it that medicine is actually accessible as long as you have money for it? Like, why can't I just have it? You know what I mean? Like, these are, these are questions that you could ask yourself about your current uh, existence, right? And, and, you know, maybe you arrive at the right conclusions after really thinking about it a little bit. You're like, why is it that this is paywalled medication and, and things that would uh, legitimately improve everyone's lives if they were free, if they were uh, produced and, uh, and, and created and distributed not for profit, but to genuinely improve uh, the human condition. So that kind of stuff makes sense. This kind of stuff, on the other hand, is, you know, kooky. It's crazy. Homeless people actually are wealthier than you secretly. Or the government wants to kill you by giving you all vaccines. Why do they want to kill you? No one really understands that. We don't really know. Just, just, for, the, just for the sake of, of, of funsies. Right? Like, that kind of stuff is absolutely diabolical, unhinged, but well, relatively creative. I definitely... Uh, find it to be creative and interesting at least, but uh, I just, uh, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I mean, this is crazy. I think some people read articles like these and think is, that is the norm and not an outlier. Meet the world's richest beggar. What? What the hell is this? Uh, who owns uh, a, what, Mumbai flat? His net worth beggars believe? Bro, how did you even find this? Like, I don't even understand TikTok is just the people saying the most outrageous things for attention. Yes. And in some respects, I want to believe that these people are actually smarter than the way they present themselves online. And they're simply doing it for social media clout because we are all fascinated with stupidity. Okay. But to be honest, I don't think that's the case. I think it's partially because these people are that fucking stupid. Sometimes you have to remind yourself that 
You know, think about how dumb you are or think about the, the average dumb guy that you know, okay? Now, recognize that there is half of society that's even dumber than that guy, okay? It's just... It's sad state of existence, but there's plenty of people who are just fucking unhinged. Yeah, George Carlin. Shouts out to George Carlin for uh, that joke. Stealing from Carlin again? I mean, it's... It's like saying, well, I have a dream. You know what I mean? Everybody knows who is, is the person who quoted it. That's like one of those things that is, an, is a nod and an ode to, to George Carlin. <laughs> anyway, um... You stole fizzy lifting drink? I don't know what that means. Internet made dumb people accessible to all of us? Yes, the internet. I feel like there was an era of pathologizing every single thing that we did, which uh, kind of became permanent. There is the hyper there is the the hyper medicalization of like all kind of all kinds of quirky behavior in in um it, there is the the hypercritical analysis of any kind of like uh outside of the norm behavior where we we pathologize it we think it's uh it's a it's a condition that must be immediately medicalized and immediately treated um see this is why i know a lot of you dummies don't read okay no one is fucking t saying oh you're hassan you're fucking stealing from foucault why are you not saying that you fucking dummies, because I'm kind of doing that right now, okay? Oh, everybody wants to jump down my fucking throat when I'm talking about, uh, uh, you know, when I'm talking about fucking George Carlin. Anyway, so what I was saying is, I do think that uh, there is a hyper-medicalization of any kind of, like, uh, anything that deviates from the norm, and I feel like we're shifting back to... We're shifting back to a time where we are fascinated by these people, but instead of seeing them as like the village idiot, which is a quirky personality, a colorful personality, but not one to be taken seriously, we have decided in uh, when we added uh, the the element of clout and the legitimizing factor of like the the social phenomena of clout and the legitimization that comes along with that has created a structure where like. The village idiot is now uh, being hailed as a hero for having a unique thought that uh, might not be so objectionable. You know what I mean? We moved from hyper medicalizing every kind of deviation from the norm to uh, back to a place where we are fascinated by the village idiot and see it as a colorful personality. But now the village idiot, given uh, social media and the, the legitimizing aspect, the, the neutralizing aspect of social media uh, and the way that you analyze information on social media makes it so that you, you don't have the same safeguards, the same measures uh, that you normally would in the real world when you experience someone like this in the real world. You see someone like this in the real world, they... Are, they haven't taken a shower or they're just like really fucking odd in that interaction. The vibes are fucked up and you immediately can recognize maybe I'm not talking to a serious person. Maybe I'm talking to someone who's fucking crazy. Okay. But because there is this like neutralizing factor on social media, you don't have that same level of analysis. You just physically cannot do that. So the guy who would normally be sitting on top of a soapbox outside of the metro station telling you about El Ron Hoyabembe is now seen as a guy with unique ideas, and especially because there's plenty of other guys that also look at that guy and go, oh, I like this guy. I'm clicking on it. I'm clicking like on what he said. Then that guy has a million followers all of a sudden. So then you're like, well, okay, my only way of analyzing whether or not this person has something worthy to say uh, something of value that he's contributing to the discourse is whether other people have considered that to be valuable to the discourse. So then all of a sudden you're like, well, maybe this is a legitimate guy. Hold on. Let me listen to El Ron Hoya Bembe uh, takes a little bit more.
obviously self-help gurus and and you know con men and charlatan have existed throughout time i have been always fascinated by con men stories i love con men i think it's great they are confidence men ultimately right they have a lot of confidence i think it's like great when you max out your persuasion skills and then you're just fucking rolling nat 20s all day every day persuading people all around um, however, nowadays you could just like do it in a much smaller, much more atomized way and kind of get away with it for a very, very long time without even like going above board and, and reaching a level of legitimacy that requires you to, at the very least, like monitor your output. You could just be as unhinged as you can physically be and still get away with, uh, smaller uh smaller uh but yet still very successful cons for a very long time that's where we're at here me to a homeless person just because they were there and you were like oh you obviously have nothing so here let me give you something today i went out and stood on the corner with my friends and we made 50 dollars cash doing absolutely nothing except holding a sign and smiling at people why did we do this just for the experience just to show ourselves that money is literally effortless I used to work really hard, struggle for money, be broke, all that shit. And now I live like a literal fucking queen. Everything handles itself in my experience. How I left the Matrix and retire from work at 26. So many cases of this, man. Many such cases. That's awesome. There's so much of this, dude. It's not rage bait, chat. It's not fucking rage bait. COVID kind of fast-tracked the con game. Being able to point out that society's most educated and most senior authorities on many things didn't have the answers, created cracks in the dam. Oh, yeah, for sure. The more atomized we become, the more the internet creates a structure for you to at least have some semblance of socialization, even though all of the other physical aspects of socialization that we take for granted that is probably very healthy for us that we do not consider are no longer there um the more you will see things like this okay i said thought times bring strange things to human culture no i i do not think this is no i do bet this is rage bait i don't think she genuinely believes this i don't think she uh i don't think this is rage bait I think she's saying psychotic shit on purpose, partially because she believes it, partially because she knows more people will pay attention to her. But ultimately, she believes the dumb shit. She's dumb. The more you learn, the dumber you are. If you went to college and learned anything, and particularly if you spent a lot of money on it, I have some extremely bad news for you. We live in a simulation. Wealthy people, the ones who actually have all the money and freedom, have known this for literally millennia. But you went to college and learned a bunch of shit from the perspective of everything. Yeah, that's why famously none of those like wealthiest, most powerful people have gone to college. Especially in our current modern era. Famously. <clears throat> yeah. No, this is just to make you feel better. Like it's college seems less accessible. College seems less accessible for, for many people. The more expensive it gets. So don't feel bad. Education is difficult. You're not going to get a fucking scholarship. Only rich people are going to college. And you don't even have to worry about it because guess what? It's it's stupid. It's it, those, those people are dumb. <coughs> <coughs> You're the smart one for going to college. Of everything being real, and it's actually not real. So everything you learned is essentially complete and utter bullshit. It is bullshit. Not a single thing you learned at school will actually contribute to your wealth and freedom. You're just going to keep being caught up in the matrix. Sorry to break it to you. If you had gotten a wealthy mentor, someone like me or the person I learned from, you could have learned all this shit for free. Well, it's not too late. You can start. Dude, I'm sorry. Mentor is my trigger word, dude. I swear to God. When I hear somebody say mentor, I go uh, uh, immediately. It just like breaks my, it breaks my brain. I know. I'm sure some of you guys have mentors. I'm sure it's great. I've never had one. I don't really understand it. I, 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 uh, you know, maybe it's my own lived experience, but as soon as someone says mentor to me online, I'm like, Oh God. Oh, whoa, fuck. Why? Why are you fucking saying that? What the fuck? Oh, this is a con man for sure. Bro, you're my mentor. What the fuck? 
No, man, I'm a dude you watch online, okay? I'm not your mentor. I try to lead by example. I try to show you the best practices. I try to, you know, uh, explain to you the way that this structure works. Ultimately, I do not expect anything in return from you. You can watch. You cannot watch if you don't want to. I would like you to watch when I play video games. You know what I mean? But it's just not. No, it doesn't work that way. How does one even find a legit mentor? I don't know. I think like anyone that says mentor, they're always looking for, uh, they're always looking for cons. You know what I mean? Like it's a self-selecting uh, uh, pool of people that you get into. Start learning from me right now. Hit follow, check out the books in my bio to learn more about what we call phase two. It's immediate. It is when it's immediately followed by, well, lucky you can learn from me for $50 a month. Yeah. Skill mentors are valid. Okay. That's entirely different. You're talking about like an apprenticeship, dude. Uh, yeah. Like a, like a senpai structure for sure. Mentor is just an older person you respect who works in your field that you can chat with. They exist in the coding space as well. Told my senior engineer to fuck off because the hostile number broadcast said mentorship doesn't make sense. Good. I'm calling my mentor senpai from now on. Yeah, if you have a good mentor, he will tell you to not do that. So that's a good test. Experience because of phase two. Infinite examples of people getting money for nothing. Have you ever gotten birthday money? You got money for just existing. That same experience can be... Like, you're a child. Like, this is a child. This is a person who is like one step removed from saying Google Gaga. Oh, remember when you got money for your birthday? Like, you have to literally be a child to listen to this and go, Oh, fuck. She's kind of right, actually. I did get money on my birthday. Oh, my God. This is, like, I can do this, okay? Are you ready? Uh, making money is really easy. All you need to do is pull out your teeth. Remember when the tooth fairy would come after your teeth fell out and then you would put it under your pillow? It's that simple, as a matter of fact. Please join my course uh, for $50 a month and I will explain to you how you can make the tooth fairy diversify your portfolio. It's like, the fuck are you saying? You're, you, what are you, what are you doing? Are you tailoring this to like children? What the fuck? Your entire money experience. You just keep fucking telling yourself it can't. This was when the Christmas $50,000 deal happened and he made half a million dollars in less than a year. What? And it blew my fucking mind. It was what Andre taught me that allowed me to change the way I felt about money and create this TikTok page. I was a total outcast when I was in school when I was younger and now I'm popular on the internet. <laughs> and that's why we're retired at 20. Wait, what is this? Miss Money? What, what, what? You're popular on the internet. Miss Money working. Let's see. I think a lot of people just that say that they're popular on the internet the without actually being popular on the internet as well. Like, like she has 378,000 followers. What the fuck are you talking about? Sam Rossi, Phase 2 content creator. Okay, this Phase 2 shit is crazy to me. I feel like there's a lot of wild stuff going on here in this Phase 2 place. Me shifting and expanding my reality by allowing myself to enjoy the feeling of doing uh, the absolute bare fucking minimum, not helping anyone with shit, being completely useless and going out of my way to fail at everything I do by simply never doing it. And then she says, every time I share a post about following myself, I feel all my feelings, mainstream manifesting positivity, bullshit guru chokes to death. The unwanted experiences that you keep having over and over again are the ones you refuse to allow yourself to feel. Just feel it. Move on money out of the way money is the easiest experience to expand and usually the first one that changes well how exactly can i just do that get the money out of the way well let me ask you this who would you be without your struggles and problems i honestly have no idea it's really weird to think about i feel like i wouldn't even exist right so guess which problem you keep creating to avoid not existing oh shit money problems yeah there are no money problems. You just keep simulating the experience of money problems over and over again. Stop. 
there ain't no way that like they're unironically saying like if you have issues with money, like if you're homeless, just like think that you're not homeless. That cannot be the fundamental plank of whatever kind of fucking uh, uh, scam that they're running, right? This is definitely a manifestation of people feeling imprisoned by capitalism and trying to feel free from it while still under it. Yeah, no, I, I 100%. I've never seen it so directly, though. Oftentimes, people will just, like, rely on uh, at least, like... Okay. One thing that you cannot uh, uh, refuse to experience is the material realities and how they impact you. If you don't have money and you're hungry, okay, you feel that hunger. There's no way to just like wish wash uh, or wish cast your way out of it, okay? You're still experiencing hunger. You're still experiencing homelessness. So for that reason, a lot of people, a lot of con men, usually will, uh, will, will never really just say this, okay? They'll say something else. They'll deflect. They'll deflect away from your... Uh, uh, in a way to, they'll deflect in a way to make it seem like there are other ways to get out of it. They will never just directly tell you, oh, just shift into a reality where you're not homeless anymore. Also getting a lot of idea guy vibes from this. I mean, it's fucking crazy. I, I don't understand it. Girl, I'm a single mom about to be homeless. I wish I could uh, think my way out of this one. Stop. How? How do you identify a problem? Damn, the surgery I don't have the money to pay for was just in my head the whole time. Sounds like you made up a problem. A very convincing one at that. I mean, is this like Christian scientists, but uh, new age and, and spiritual instead of like, uh, I I instead of packaged under like organized religion? Is that what this is? This is what, dude, this is, oof. Oof, this is crazy. Jupiter and Taurus already giving me like 83 signs today. If all my problems were gone, I'd be on top of the world in luxury. Nah, but I really do have money problems if you insist. <clears throat> I watched that Knowing Better YouTube video too. Wait, what? What Knowing Better YouTube video? Death is the poor man's doctor. The city will bury you or cremate you for free if they can't identify you. That's, that's terrifying. Um, she's rich and brain broken. I can't see what... First of all, I don't even think she's rich, okay? Like, I, I don't even think she's personally rich. There's something very weird going on here uh, that I haven't figured out. Over and over again. Stop. How? How do you identify a problem? Get my book, Quantum Networking, to finally stop screwing around in you life. You look at something, you tell yourself that it's a problem, and you feel like it's a problem. So stop doing all of that. That's too simple. I know. That's why it's the last fucking thing that anyone ever does. I'm telling you, just get the money out of the way. Money is the easiest experience to expand and usually the first one that changes. Wealth is inevitable. How do you always have so many ideas and you just get shit done so fast? That's what people are saying to her all the time. It's white girl inherited wealth. Parents pay for all the experiences. I don't think she's as caked up, chat. I mean, look, she's in like a fucking apartment. You know what I mean? And probably living in a place like Arizona or some shit. So, you know, I don't... <laughs> Half of Chad is living in a similar con uh, condition here. You know what I mean? She got popcorn ceiling. How fucking wealthy could she be, you know? Come on, dog. Like, obviously, in the grand scheme of things, it's still a, a lot better than uh, many people's circumstances, but come on. What's the point of getting shit done if you're just manifesting free money anyway? Like, what is she selling if all I have to do is stop being poor? 
I think she's just saying, you know, at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break, right? And you can just manifest that away. Um, you can manifest a gifted sub or you can manifest $5 to magically appear in your uh, bank account so you can purchase a $5 a month subscription or you can manifest a Twitch Prime for a free one. You know what I mean? Um, or like I said, you could just manifest a gifted sub to avoid the top of the hour ad break. Cracky Westside just gifted five gifted subs. MB Chaos gifted five gifted subs. Why am I even here? Oh, 34 MKD with another 50 big ones. Here's the three-minute ad break now. I have popcorn ceiling and I enjoy it. Okay, my point is, you're not exactly fucking caked up if you're living in an apartment in Arizona with like a bunch of other people. Moth666, thank you for the five tier one gifted subs. Nikki Naptime, thank you for the five gifted subs. I have a very intimate relationship with my intuition. So I pretty much just get ideas and instructions and I just act on them without thinking about it. Can I have that too? How do I start? Of course you can. Everyone has an intuition. To start developing your relationship with it, you have to slow down. Slow down? What do you mean? People think that they only get flashes of their intuition. Um, Macath, my cat hates turfs. <laughs> Thank you for the five gifted. This is a funny username. And they're lucky if they catch it, but that's because they move so fast all the time. When you literally physically slow down in your life and in your experience, your thoughts slow down too. So you can hear what your intuition is saying 100% of the time. Oh, is that what you're doing when you just sit there quietly for like 10 minutes? You're slowing down? Yeah, I do it a few times a day. I literally just sit with myself and feel my feelings and pay attention to me and nothing else. So once someone slows down, they literally get instructions from their intuition to have any experience they feel like having. Yeah, that's why they call it the billionaire secret. How do you always have... No one calls it that. I love that we are watching their process of self-affirmation that has led to this bullshit. Yeah. This kind of human can only be crafted in either the forgotten times when there was no access to information, okay? Or right now. There was a brief window where this was not as like broadly accessible and we've moved beyond it like you can only get to this kind of you can only arrive at this with a perfect concoction of self-actualization constant babying and no no immediate sense of community that probably would check you through uh shame or through interactions with other human beings um, and of course, you absolutely need to have uh, a, a massive amount of entitlement. So America is like the perfect environment for uh, a person like this. It's so perfectly crafted to just churn out this kind of these kinds of takes, especially through social media. Um, truly amazing that people can make an entire brand for themselves on TikTok by hearing an incomplete sentence piece of advice from a therapist and going viral. Yeah. <laughs> if you're in jail, just manifest the bail. We're in like the reverse dark age, too much information at one time. Brains can't keep up. I don't think it's because there's too much information at one time. I think this stems from... <clears throat> a lack of interest in, in education and critical thinking skills that come along with that, even if you're not fully paying attention to everything that you're seeing in school. I, I think because everything is so easily accessible at the tip of your fingers, you just make this assumption that you don't really need to learn things. You could just Google it and, and make it up as you go along. So that just like rewires your fucking brain in a very weird uh, fashion. And then when you don't have that kind of critical thinking and you don't have that media literacy, you basically just look at anything and everything, especially things that correspond to your own personal biases in a positive way that like reaffirms your suspicions. Uh, you look at that and you go, this is real. This must be real. It makes me feel good. And you just full blown believe it. And that's, that's where you get all of these, like, uh, these, these, I did my own research guys. You know what I mean? It's like, why 
Why would I trust a scientist who has dedicated his entire life to this when I can do my own research and find out that that scientist is wrong? Because I'm the smartest guy I know. I'm so dumb that I think I'm the fucking most brilliant person, right? I, I walk around every day thinking that I'm the literal smartest person on the planet. Um, so now I'm going to go on Facebook and do my own research by uh, seeking out information that counters the narrative in a way that appeals to my sensibilities. I know it's stealing Lawrence tweet, but this person does definitely seem like they have a fetish for being yelled at. I mean, I don't know. If, I think their fetish is just like trying to find, trying to identify people that are even dumber than uh, she is to, to farm them for money.